Today I'm going to show you a tutorial, this look here, to I'm closing my eyes to display the look that we're talking about today. Essentially what I did today was just a classic thick winged liner. I had a plan for a smaller winged liner, but then, I don't know, things got out of hand. But that's just how it goes. And the crease blended out with sort of a mustard color. I almost said mushroom. Definitely not. Definitely mustard. And the lip, I did a rosy ombre color with some liquid lipsticks. I kind of winged this look as I went along, which is usually not how I do tutorials, but I do like how it came out. So uh, no harm, no foul. And if you guys want to see how I did this mustardy winged eyeliner and rosy ombre lip, just keep on watching. We're going to zoom in and get started on the eyes. So even though I want my crease color to be blended out with like a yellow mustardy tone today, I am going to first go in with some neutral colors to soften it up and deepen the crease because uh, the yellow that I'm going to use, it's not really a yellow, it's like an orangey burnt orange sienna kind of a color. Um, although it is a beautiful color, it does not necessarily add a transition and it also doesn't necessarily add the depth that I need. So I'm going to do that first and then add the yellow kind of as like a wash of color accent after I do my normal crease routine. I'm just going to make sure that the crease routine is very neutral today so that it doesn't lean too far in the other direction and ruin the yellowness and make it muddy. First I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie on a Sigma E40 blending brush. Next I'm going to deepen the crease a little bit with Anastasia Beverly Hills Fawn on a Sigma E25, which is just a smaller blending brush. Next, I'm going to add in a little bit of that mustardy color. And the placement on that, I'm going to just overlap it with that brownish color and then blend it out onto the bare skin just a little bit so that it kind of creates a gradient from that brown to the mustard yellow. For the color, I am picking up Makeup Geek Chickadee. And I'm going to use the same brush, but I wiped it off in my color switch just to make sure it wasn't a lot of the other color left on here first. I want to add a little bit more depth to the outside portion of the crease, but I want it to be very precise and literally only in the crease line on the outside portion. So I'm going to grab a darker shadow. This is Bada Bang by Makeup Geek on a Sigma E36, which is essentially just a little tiny blending brush that fits right into your crease hole. Cre crease hole is not a word, but you, you get what I mean. I want to add a little bit more yellow to that blend because I feel like the yellowiness is not popping enough for my taste. But this time I'm going to do it on a slightly smaller brush. This is the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Now it's time for a winged liner. Today I'm going to use the NYX Cosmetics Epic Ink Liner. I think I'm going to go for a medium wing today. Okay, I completely lied. This wig is going to be gigantic. <laughs> okay, now that the wings are on, I am going to conceal underneath my eyes and then we are going to put a little bit of this color softly on the lower lash line. For this look, I'm really enjoying having a lot of the emphasis on the top half of the lid. I like that lift sometimes, that sharp winged snatched lift situation. 
So for the lower lash line, I am just going to softly, softly define it with a little bit more of the color fawn and just a touch of that yellowy color chickadee to tie it all together. To keep that emphasis on the top half, I'm going to use a nude color through the waterline. Then I'm going to use the Urban Decay 24-7 waterline pencil in the color Walk of Shame, which is my favorite waterline nude color. I do want to put just a touch of highlight on the inner corner of the eye, but nothing too crazy. So I'm going to use Makeup Geek Foiled Shadow in Magic Act. Being that these wings are so gigantic, I am actually going to opt to skip false lashes today because I just don't think you need it. Um, personally, I'm going to leave right now after I do this and go like run errands and do normal stuff and I don't really want to be wearing lashes. So uh, for a look like this, you can completely get away with not wearing lashes and have it still look super duper finished and done. The thick wing hides most of the lashes anyway, so if you just curl your lashes nicely and put mascara on, you are more than good to go. However, if you do decide to wear lashes with this look, I would suggest something that flares really nicely and has lift at the end, like maybe House of Lashes Iconic or something along those lines. I think that would look... Okay, for the lips, I'm going to do sort of a dark red to dusty rose ombre color. So I'm kind of hoping it gives like sort of a flower petal -y effect. Um, I used to do this all the time, but I haven't done it in a while with two mattes like this, so I'm hoping that I know how to nail it like I used to. But I guess we're gonna find out right now because I'm going to jump in and get started on these lips. For the dark color around the perimeter of the lips, I'm going to use Black Rose Liquid Lipstick from Dose of Colors. And for the center of the lips, I'm going to use Dusty Rose from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And that's it for today's tutorial. Thank you guys as always for watching. I really appreciate it like more than you know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It kind of helps other people see my video more and we need all the help we can get out here in YouTube. So give that video a thumbs up if you can. I would really appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I've been having a great time putting videos out for you guys and I hope you guys have been enjoying watching them. So if you have, subscribe, stick around so we can do more of this because I'm having a ton of fun. Don't forget to also follow me on social media. I'm at Miss Quinn Faze on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I will link that all down below as well. Not link it, but like list it so you guys could see it and like make a visual note of what it is. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to put the high definition photos of this up on Instagram. So if you like to see those, you can head over there to see that. They'll also be in the corresponding blog post that goes along with this video. So that will be linked below as well. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching me paint my face and I will see you in the next one.